Dude, he's red. In a, what the, look how crazy this is. Tide pools for days. Literally in a pocket full of water. He's under the rock. Second pistol shrimp going in. I think I'm gonna do it. So all of these little tide pools, as you can see, they're full of water. And what exactly happens is the water, like I said before, completely drops from the beach right there. All that water is covering this. And then when it drops, it ends up filling up the little pocket holes. And that's what's happening right now. And a lot of the times, the invertebrates, little fish and stuff get trapped up in here. So hey, hey, what? Fish over here. Really? Yeah, really, really sick fish. All right, let's go. Oh, look at this. What is it? What is that? Oh, look at that. What kind of fish is that? I don't know. Dude, he's red. Yeah, what the? Yeah, uh -huh. he can't. There's no way he can get out of here. He's oh, yeah. trapped. He's literally trapped. That's crazy. Oh, 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 you got him. Look at this fish what, we just caught. First find of the day. Dude, that thing is beautiful. If you guys know what kind of fish this is, comment down below and let me know in the comments. Wow. That is so sick. Obviously the water comes up a lot. You can see we have literally pockets that come all the way up to here, full of water. So these guys are gonna be long gone. There's a whole, whole reef out there. Yeah, in like six hours, yeah. once the tide rises back up, all this is covered with water and the fish all go back into the reef. But when the tide drops, they don't know when the tide can drop, so they end up getting trapped in the little tide pools. Right there, right. coral banded shrimp. Oh my God. Two of them. This is probably a pair right here. Oh my God. Dude, look at that. Literally in a pocket full of water. And it's crazy because it's almost like four inches deep, but so small. That's that a pair. That is 100% a pair. Look at this. I want to try to get one out to show you guys. Oh. Come on, buddy. He's lodged oh, onto God. that rock, but look at that. That's so sick. Right there is a little coral banded shrimp right in the tide pool. So cool. We'll let these guys go do their thing, get back to their business there. Now you guys are probably wondering, why aren't you taking anything home for your aquarium? Well, as you guys know, we have like 10 aquariums, so it's a lot to maintenance. So we don't want to just take anything we see just because it's cool. So if we see something cool, we're probably just gonna release it back. But if we find something really rare, there may be a chance we'll take it home. Yo, Nick. Yeah. Hermit crab. Yo. What kind? Not too sure. Oh, big old hermit crab. Look at him. You can see his little antennas hanging out there. Oh, so pretty, dude. Look at the shell on that hermit crab. He's got all that algae on top, probably from just sitting in the sun. And on the bottom, that's his real color right there. It's crazy how much wildlife are actually in these tide pools. Let him be. Ooh, look at this. Where'd they go? Oh, there's one right there. What? Pistol oh my trip. gosh. Holy here, cow. I got you, I got you. I saw two of them. I got you. Oh my gosh, wait, come here. Scared to catch him. It's like, oh, got him. we got him. got him. Look at this. Oh right here gosh. is one of the world's deadliest shrimp. See that big old claw right there? They use that as a pistol, and that's why they call them pistol shrimp. They actually shoot a bubble that is as hot as the sun. Literally a wild pistol shrimp. These guys are huge in the aquarium industry, but we're out here just catching them, literally, in the wild. Oh, there's another is one. There? There's another one in the cave. No. Oh, he's holding on to his shell. He is. There's another pistol shrimp right there in the water. I wish we had the GoPro. Oh, he's coming out. Oh, he's, oh, he's digging. What he's is he digging. Doing? Should I try to push him out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he got there him. There he is. There he is. It's like a lobster. Dude, two pistol shrimp. I feel like we should take these guys. Dude. 100%. Oh. We're going to oh, take oh, them. Oh, 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 oh. Holy. <laughs> Come on. Dude, it literally looks like a lobster. Is that Baby? Oh, oh, you heard oh. that? Bro, that was its claw snapping shut, and that is exactly how they shoot the bubble out. So we're actually gonna keep these guys, because I've actually never owned a pistol shrimp, and if you don't know, like I just said before, they put on like a crazy show when they feed. So hopefully in the future we can get some crazy feedings out of these guys, but we're gonna keep them. I'm gonna go grab the bucket real quick. Look at this thing. Literally, oh my gosh, bro. We got two of them in one little tide pool here. <laughs> I think we'll add like a couple rocks in there for them to like, play with. What fish was that? I just saw a little fish in this tide pool right here. I couldn't oh, tell it is, right Oh, there. it's right here, it's right here. Where, where? It's right here. Puffer fish? Oh, oh! It's right here. No, don't let him go under. Got, 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 got him. Look at oh that. Oh my gosh. A little puffer fish. Oh my gosh, dude. He's pretty. Really pretty. Can we keep this guy or release him? Up to you. I say we release him. Send him back. Send him back. I think that's an oceanic puffer. Good find, Reese. That's oh, so cool, bro. Look at him. So sick. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. We got him. got him. I'm going in. You can't pay me to go in there. <laughs> Might be too big for me. Oh, dude, this 
through all these tires, bro. How crazy is this? Oh, oh, Aerocrab! Aerocrab! No way! Damn it! Look at this! Oh my gosh, bro. He's crawling out of the water right now. Dude! John! Where's John? Look at John up here. Hey! <laughs> right there is an Aerocrab. You see why they call them Aerocrabs? See that big old arrow on his head? That is exactly why. Oh, and he's got a little hermit crab in there with him. Tide pools for days. He got a big one down there. You got look here, they're everywhere. It's absolutely insane. This is where we live, guys. Jupiter, Florida. Look how many people are doing exactly what we're doing right now. We got one right there, four over there. People really enjoy it. Oh, oh, pistol shrimp oh, right there. Pistol shrimp right there. Look at him digging. Digging into that hole. Oh, there's another one, right? He's going into that hole. He's going into that hole. This one's huge, bro. This is a baby one. Oh, he oh, may no. be gone. He's gone. That one dug oh, into digging, the hole. Digging. Dude, oh, they so dig many. so oh, quick. There's so How many. many are there? There's a lot. There's a lot. Hold on. Bro, look at this. Ah! Oh. He's going. He's going. Got him. Got him. Look at him. Bro. Oh, there go the other one. Big shout out to John because John's the one who put us on this spot. So if you guys aren't subscribed to John, go check out his channel. His link will be in the description down below. Look at the size of that claw. It's almost like a crab claw. And that's what they use to snap it shut. It creates a little bubble and it ends up striking their prey like a bullet would. We're going to release this guy. Let him go his way. Bro, I think there's a Reese Reese got something. Reese got Let's see. What is it? Look at this. It looks like a little scallop. Scallop? Yeah. Dude, look at this. Literally a little scallop right there. Oh my gosh. See all the little tentacles and stuff coming out of him? He's closed right now, but you can still see it a little bit. So sick. There he is out of the water. That is sick. We'll release this guy right back up in here. That is one of the coolest things I think we found today. Just because we've never found a little scallop like that. That's legit. It's got the little tentacles coming out and all. There he goes. Woo. Sorry, man. <laughs> I didn't think it'd get you. Holy cow! No way! No way! Bro, look at the colors and the size of that lionfish. He's still alive, dude. Look at his mouth breathing. Be careful, bro. Bro, what is going on right now? Is he dead? No, he's still breathing. Look at his gills. What's up with him? I don't know. Dude, he probably got Wait, caught off. Pick, the door him, pick him up. Look That's exactly what happened. Dude, that's the biggest lionfish I've ever seen in my life. Look at his spine. And look, he is still alive. Look at his gills still breathing. What I think what happened was someone caught him offshore, and when you bring him up from down below to like from the deep water, they end up getting air in their stomach, and then they're not able to actually yeah, swim back down. See, look, oh. dude, he's moving. Let's try to see if we can revive him. That air bladder has to pop. Really? Yeah. Oh, you need like a knife. You just gotta poke him with something. Wow. I don't even know what to say or do, really. We're like kind of in the middle of nowhere, and we have like no supplies to actually help this fish. Because if we did, yeah, maybe a shark shell or something. Oh, yeah, what is that? What's going on? Yeah, hey, grab that. Pop it through. Oh, there you go. There you go, John. Heck yeah, dude. Look at all that air coming out of his stomach. If he doesn't make it, we tried everything. Yeah, at least we tried. Come on, buddy. We might have got to him a little bit too late. Yeah, he is still alive, but that could just be his nerves, honestly. Yeah. Man, sad. That is beautiful. That is one of the biggest lionfish I've ever seen. But we pretty much have to let nature take its course right now, and I'm sure a bird or even maybe a shark will definitely feed on him. So we ended up getting two pistol shrimp. We caught a whole bunch of invertebrates in general, but we are going to be taking home these two monster pistol shrimp. Look at them. They're under this rock right here. We're going to get back to the house and put these guys in one of our aquariums. We're back home right now. We got this little five gallon aquarium. As you guys know, I used to have all the little seaweed invertebrates and fish in here. We did take them out and put them in the bait tank. And we are now going to be adding our pistol shrimp to this tank. And I told you guys that we would be always changing up the theme of this little tank. We're going to slowly acclimate them, give them about 20 minutes to acclimate. And then they're going in. John, I'm going to let you do the honors. Let's go. Picking on up the, the pistol shrimp here. Yeah, I'll do the honors of picking up the, the deadly pistol shrimp. Ooh. Did he try to do it? I don't know. That sounded like it. It's sketch though, huh? It is. Look at that, that one's blue. That one's literally blue. Off, good. Yeah, he is blue. 
Let's go. Here he goes. First one's going in. Oh, dude. What do you think he's going to do? Probably dig into the sand or go into the rock. Yeah. He's going to find a rock. Dude, look at him. I don't know what he's doing right now. Oh, it's got him. Get him, Nick. Second pistol shrimp going in. Oh, oh he's on the rock. rock. Oh, the yeah. other guy's right there. Oh, he's underneath. Dude, he's underneath the rock. You can barely see him in there. So one cool thing about the pistol shrimp and why we actually brought him home for one of our aquariums is one, it is really rare to find them in our location. And two, these guys are one of the coolest animals to watch feed. If you put like a fish or another little invertebrate in there, they actually have a claw. I'm gonna let John read off the facts because it's actually insane. All right, right here it says snapping shrimp. There's actually hundreds of like different kinds. <laughs> yeah, different kinds of these. So there's definitely different ones that have certain colors. If you go like different places in the world, they'll definitely be certain colored ones but it says right here the enormous claw they used to fire bullets of bubbles at foes knocking them out cold or even killing them pound for pound the pistol shrimp are some of the most powerful most ferocious critters on earth wow so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on that feeding because we are definitely soon going to be doing a feeding with these pistol shrimp so if you guys aren't make sure you guys hit that subscribe button with that being said we'll see y'all in the next one see y'all